Good morning. Happy Monday. Happy Monday to ya. It's Tracy coming back with another morning video. Hey, crazy squad. What's going on with ya? Happy Monday to ya. We made it through the weekend, okay? And we are alive and we are breathing. And hopefully we all got our health, our mental strength. God is good. Allah is good. Jehovah is good. The universe is good. It's good, y'all. We are here amongst the land of the living. We are not six feet under. We are here. We have another chance to be good today, to make better decisions. Okay, to think before we react, to think before we speak. We have another chance to do something good every day. Okay, every day that we have a, we wake up, that's another chance to make a difference in our life, in ourself. It's another day. Yesterday is gone. We could never bring back what happened yesterday. All we could do is move forward, and I am so happy to be alive. Irregardless of everything that is going on in my life, I am here. I am here. And you are here because you're watching. And I love every single one of you guys for watching. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for rocking with me. Thank you so much for Loving me and my content. Thank you so much. Thank you. If this is your first time tuning in, welcome to the crazy squad. Welcome, y'all. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified and reminded when your girl uploads another video and when I go live. And I found out through research, if you don't hit the bell, you don't get notified, you would never know when I upload you won't you never know my videos won't even go to you they won't even go so I'll be doing my little research okay but hit that subscribe button hit the bell to be notified hit it twice okay leave a comment you guys know I love comments I answer and read every single one of them I do like and share baby Yes. Now look here. I got so full last night. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit I showed you. I'm gonna come back tonight and do because I'm eating leftovers, and I'm and I'm gonna eat them because I've been snacking. I was, you know how you be cooking and you be tasting and snacking, and then when I finally fixed my plate, I could. Oh, you guys, them neck bones were screaming. But I'm gonna eat them tonight because I couldn't even hardly eat none. I was too busy eating them out the pot. Look, this morning, now I'm, I'm trying something new. I'm just trying a little everything here and then I'm going to go to another restaurant. But now I'm doing the McGriddle. I've, I've, I've always seen the commercials. I've always seen people eat them. I've never got the McGriddle. Look, but you know I'm greedy. I had to get the triple stacker though. This is the McGriddle, y'all. I know y'all probably had this. Look, it's just new to me. Look, I'm just happy. Look. Got the little M on it. And what they are, they're just like little, um, little, little pancakes. Look, they so cute. You probably already had them. Look, it's just new to me. And I got my little bacon. Mm. I love the, um, I don't know why I like this cheese that be on the, on the paper, on the wrapper. Just greedy. Got my little tripper stacker. Got my, my egg, my bacon, my cheese, and my... Look, my little two patties. Ooh, I want that cheese. Look, mmm, you agree. Don't want nothing to fall. Mmm, y'all. Can't even turn my head. I'm so sick of this. Ooh, if she didn't give me my one jelly. Ooh, if she, I told her what. Here go. Oh, your girl is about to go. Your girl is about to nut up. I get one, I like one grape jelly. And when I get my hash brown, I want three ketchups. Not two, not four, three. Okay. Look here. 
I had a um a subscriber. This has been on my mind all weekend. And um, I was going to talk about it yesterday. I said, no, I want to kind of ponder on it a little bit more. You know, but before I tell you what I want to talk about, I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it is. It's called going backwards. It's called going backwards. Oh, before I do that, I also got me a little treat for my break. I'm going to put it in the, fr in the refrigerator when I get to work. Ooh, and I'm putting my name on it. I swear if they somebody steal my... Because they be stealing your lunch and stuff here. It's like, really? I got me a parfait, y'all. I got... Ooh, I love these parfaits. I got me a parfait. And here go my little granolas. Uh-huh. Got me a little parfait, y'all. And I got my coffee, of course. I never finished drinking all of it. But I got my little coffee. Look, trunk can't even turn my head. Let me take this. Ooh, let me take this bite. This, ooh, some of my jelly didn't fail. Oh, my God. This look like it's going to be bomb. Yes. Oh, my God. These little, um, it's something different for me. Oh, God. Mmm. 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 That's good, y'all. And actually, mmm. Mmm. I'm so sorry for smacking y'all. That is so good. If you don't like smacking, just, I don't know, turn your volume down. But this right here is good. Um, now that I've been into that, I, I, I'm look, I'm going to get another one of them one day. But you don't need, um, you don't need jelly. Because it, it tastes like syrup and everything is mixed in that, 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 um, look, that, um, it's so good to me. I'm, um, that, um, uh, <laughs> that, that, um, um. A little uh pancake. I don't even need no um jelly. Cause I don't do a lot of sweet sweet. <clears throat> but look here. So what I was what I wanted to bring to you guys is and it's on relationship, but it's it's a little deeper than that. Um when you're in a relationship and you're with someone and you guys are going through whatever you're going through. And then you break up. Food for thought. Remember the reason why you broke up. And the reason why I say that is when you when you first break up, you're going to go through all these different mental stages. You're going to be crying. If I mean, I don't know exactly, but pe most people cry. They go into a little depression or get sad. Some people show their um, sadness in different ways. Everybody don't cry. Everybody don't isolate. Some people just, they don't want to think about it. So they keep themselves busy cleaning up or going out with their friends, with their homeboys or, or homegirls. Or they just keep themselves busy because they don't think about it. You got to think about it. At some point, you got to stop and just think about the whole situation. Don't ignore it. Don't ignore it. Sometimes you, you have to, at some point, you have to deal with it to work it out. Because let me tell you why. If you don't, you will end up going backwards with that person. Getting back together. He or she would tell you, I'm sorry, you know, I changed or this and that and the other. Sometimes they even try to put it on you. Don't ignore it. Think about it. Let me tell you. Before you go back, remember why you broke up. You broke up for a reason. We are who we are. Now, we might change a little bit. We might make some adjustments and change. But we are who we are. We are who we are. 
We are who we are. We can't just change our whole personality just like that. We might make some changes, some adjustments to be better, but we still have our same morals. We still have our same outlook on life, our same. We still have that. So if you break up with somebody, you you broke up with them for a reason. Okay, you broke up with them for a reason. When you get with somebody and you're in a relationship and you start feeling like you're losing yourself. See, when you get in a relationship, that other person is supposed to enhance you, bring the best out in you. When you're with someone and you find yourself doing all these things that you normally wouldn't do. You know, some people start smoking, drinking, eating, going out. When you start being not yourself. That's when you need to take a, a, a reality check and, and check, check out some things. Because that person is in your life because you want them in your life, not because you need them. When you get with somebody, they're in your life to enhance you. You guys are supposed to enhance each other. Yeah, you're going to have some struggles, financial or whatever. You're going to have that. But I'm, talk I'm not talking about the outside situations, the outside obstacles, where I'm talking about in here. When you get with somebody and you just feel like you're not happy inside anymore, and you don't know who you are anymore, and you try to talk to that person, explain to them, hey, look, you're doing this and it's bothering me. You're doing this is making me feel this way. You're doing this and it's making me this way. And then they don't want to put any forth an effort to kind of negotiate or come to a medium. It's time to reevaluate that situation. Have you noticed like it's like when you do break up. And right when your life is getting right, right when you find yourself, right when you get situated, here come the devil. Either that ex person to try to come back in. And then we get weak. Because we're lonely, we're, 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 we're whatever it is. Remember why you broke up. Because sometimes if you go backwards, I know people that broke up and got back together and it's better. It's, it's good. My, one of my good friends, there, her and her dude, before she got married, you know, they, they was going through a lot. She had a kid and everything. They got back together. He really was sincere about changing and doing the right thing. Sometimes that does happen. But most of the time. You go backwards and it's worse than it was before. And then it's going to be even harder to get rid of that person and bring yourself back to who you are. When you first break up in a relationship, you're going to go through despair. It's like a mourning period. It's like you, you lost someone. You did lose someone. Especially if you guys been together a long time. And this person has been a part of your life for a long time. So you're going to go through the despair. You're going to go through the mourning, the mourning stages. You're going to mourning, not mourning, but, you know, mourning stages. You're going to go through your, your thing, your, your, your each stage that you go through. And then eventually, like me, I, I'm a crier. I cry. And I go through my despair and I'm an isolator and I'm working on that. I'm trying not to be an isolator. But sometimes you have to isolate for a minute so you can hear your own thoughts, hear your own voice. Because when you talk to people about what's going on, they're having saying this in the ear, girl or man, you know, if, it, if it's a guy. You know, they telling you all this different stuff and then you hear from your family, your mom or your dad or your close, your sister, or whoever that's close to your cousin. You hear something in that ear. Sometimes you and then you hearing from that ex. You got to hear your own voice and think about yourself. Sometimes breaking up 
is not bad. It's, it's sometimes we have to do things that is uncomfortable to us in the beginning. But in the end, it was better for us. It was better. And I'm saying this from experience. And other people that I talked to that's been going through that. Breaking up is 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 it's like a God. It is so is especially if you love that person and you put so much time and energy into this relationship. You put so much in. You just jumped in and just gave them your all. You really gave them your all. You gave them yourself. You gave them everything. And then it's 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 over. But you can get yourself back. You can get yourself back. Go through the motions. Listen to your own thoughts, your own self. Listen to you. Mainly, sometimes people can give you some good advice, but but throw out the junk. Keep in with what's going to help you. Throw out everything else they're saying and just keep certain things that they say that's going to really help you. You don't have to listen to every single thing. Listen to what it works for you. And remember, sometimes going backwards is the worst thing you can ever do because you guys broke up for a reason. You broke up for a reason. Okay. Okay. This too shall pass. And sometimes when you go through it, you just look like if it feels like the end of the world, like it ain't going to pass. It ain't going to go nowhere. It, it just feels like, oh, OK. But it will. Ugh, my head. But it will. If you're with someone and they're not bringing the best out of you, you're supposed to bring the best out of you. I don't want you to get that screwed. But when you're with somebody, they're supposed to enhance that. They're not supposed to make it worse for you. And when you be feeling like you letting yourself go, well, you don't even want to get up in the morning. You don't want to fix yourself up. Your girlfriends or your, your homeboys ask you to go out and you don't be feeling like it. And then you get home and you don't want to go in your house. That's when you have to really stop and, and reevaluate some things. And, and when you go backwards, it's, it's, it's tougher. It's tougher. The breakup is worse. The relationship is worse. And getting yourself back together is harder, but you can do it. You can do it. But you have to hear your own voice in the midst of it. Going backwards, you got to go forward. And I'm saying this from experience. Mm -hmm. I'm coming to you from life experience and from other people that I've that's in my life that went through this as well. We all have went backwards before and, you know, go forward, go forward and start worrying about yourself. Get yourself together. Start doing the things you like to do, doing the things that make you happy. And then that person will come along. The universe will set you guys up. He will, the universe will put that person in your path and it'd be at the weirdest place. And you will meet that soulmate. But you can't go out looking for him, you know, on the internet. Like you shopping at Walmart. Nah, he too tall. Nah, he too short. Nah, he, I don't like the way he dressed. Nah, I like bald-headed men. Nah, I like men with dreads. Nah, I like clean clothes. Uh-uh. Sometimes that person that's for you may not be what you have imagined him, him or her to be. 
It's not all about the outside. You might always want somebody tall. And then the universe puts somebody short in your life that is so good to you and for you. You can't judge your prize by the package. Somebody can give you a diamond ring in a big old giant box. And you'd be like, what is this, a robe? But what? You, don't, you cannot judge it on the package. Okay, because the package that it came in ain't what ain't 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 even ain't even the thing. It ain't the package. It ain't the box. It's what's inside that box that matters. Sometimes we want something a certain type of way, or we want it to look a certain type of way, but it is what's for us and what's best for us may not look and feel the way you want it to look and feel. You might want them tall or short. It may not look that way. But it's just like this. Have you ever lost some money or a ring or earring? And for the life of you, you just can't find it. And you be looking everywhere. And then finally, when you say, you know what? Forget it. It's gone. I'm not going to find it. Let me just move on. Months later, you vacuuming, dusting, or just doing whatever. You look down and there go that earring or that ring. And you be like, what? All this time it was right here? All that time it was right there. When you look for stuff, you don't find it. Move on with your life. Do what you need to do. Do you. And when it's your time, when the universe feels that it's your time, you guys will be placed in a position to be in each other's path and meet each other. But first, you need to go through that despair of that breakup with that other person. Get all your crying out. Get all your anger out. Get all your woe with me. Get that violin and play that violin. Go on and play it. And then after you put that violin down. And you st- and, and that song, woe with me, is gone out your, out, your, out your system. Then you can start, you know, doing little things. Going for walks. Going out with your friends. You, you just start doing you. Get involved with your family. Get involved with the kids. You just start getting, finding other activities. You just go on with your life. Because this too shall pass. And when that person come along, you could be strong enough to be like, I love you. I have love for you. I never want anything to happen to you. I, I wish you luck. But I, I can't go. I can't get back with you. We can't do this again. We can't because then you'll be stronger. You'll be stronger. Because I'm telling you, I was weak before. We all get weak and go backwards. And if you can make it from that going backwards, because sometimes when you go backwards, it is just hard. The recovery from that takes time. It's harder. And then you forget we broke up for a reason. I left you or you left me or whatever. We broke up for a reason. <clears throat> Excuse me. And getting back with you. I'm going backwards. We need to go forward, y'all. We need to go forward. And you, we need somebody in our life that's going to enhance us. Not bring us down. Not shut us down. Not, we need an enhancement. We need somebody that's going to help us build us up while we building ourselves up. We need to build each other. We need to enhance us. And that's what I wanted to say. Breakup is hard, but this too shall pass. People are in your life for a reason and a season. And you take that reason 
and learn from it. And then you move on to the next season. And then when you get to the next season, you've learned from that last reason. Ow! Woo! I shot that! And you learned it. And you keep it in the back of your mind, in your experience bank. We have, that's how we get wisdom. That's how we grow. We take our bad experiences and learn from them. And we don't make that same mistake again. Because if you keep doing the same thing, you get the same results. We got to switch our game up to make it. To make it. We got to switch it up. We got to switch our game up. We have to learn from our mistakes, from our, our bad choices. We have to learn from them. It's a process, though. You have to want to do it. You have to want to do it. And as soon as you want to do it, it's on and cracking. It's on and cracking, y'all. Look here. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, share and like, and hit that bell. Thank you for tuning in. Heads up, chest out, nose at a level. Because you don't want to be walking around with your nose all stuck up in the air. Walking off because you going through whatever you going through. You know, you got your little issues. You feeling bitter today. You feeling upset today. Or you feeling whatever you feeling. So you just going to walk around like this. Uh-uh. Keep your nose level. Okay? Because when it's up in the air, you don't want nothing to... Somebody come knock your block off. Keep it like this. Okay? Keep it like this. Okay, keep it like this. And even if you don't want to smile, smile. Because I'm telling you, when you smile, it make you, you could be feeling bad. But when you smile, it make you feel good. And do something nice for somebody today. Say good morning to somebody that you just can't stand. But mean it. If you don't mean it, don't say it. But do something nice. If you, if you get an urge in your heart to do something nice, Say something nice to somebody. Compliment somebody. You never know how that might make that person feel. You feel me? So that's, that's, that's my vlog for today. That's my talk for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Until then, peace.